Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here inside of Cold War Zombies. In today's video, I have an amazing glitch that can help you level up your T rank and your XP rank right now in Cold War. For this glitch, I'd recommend that you watch the full video as I go a bit in detail how to do it because it can be a little bit tricky to set up, but once you're in this glitch, I promise you, you'll be soaring through the rounds and getting so much XP. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the first thing. So for this glitch, I would recommend that you have the Ring of Fire field upgrade at least up to its third ability. Furthermore, it is crucial that you guys have the DIE Wonder Weapon and I'd recommend that you have the Nova Fire variant of the weapon. If you guys are not aware on how to build the DIE, do not worry, there is a guide in today's video on how to build it. However, if you guys are already aware on how to build the weapon, then do please feel free to use the timestamps present down below to skip directly to the glitch. So to get the Wonder Weapon, the first thing that you must do is to kill the Megaton Boss Zombie. He will spawn every game around 2 rounds after you have opened up the power. The Megaton will drop a key card, which you can then take that key card over to the Weapon Lab area. At the Weapon Lab area, you must open up this Weapon Locker by holding square and this will dispense you a DIE Remote Control. Now, once you have acquired this DIE Remote Control, simply go to the spawn area and then I recommend that you train upwards to 20 zombies. With these 20 zombies, make your way to the Living Room area and then activate the DIE Machine. Once you have done this, the machine will burst out a sucking ability which we have to use to kill at least 20 plus zombies with. Once you have killed the appropriate amount of zombies, the machine will then say it is ready for fire. Go back to where you activated the machine and then cold square on it. Once you have done this, the hinges of the door will blast off allowing you access in the machine which you can quickly grab the DIE from this fallen soldier. Now that we have grabbed the DIE, let's get into how to get the Nova 5 variant of the weapon. The first step is that you must come to the main level of the knocked building and then suck up this canister which will be located in this area. Pick up the canister and again make your way over to the weapon lab area. Come to this cleaning unit and then insert the canister into it. Once you have inserted the canister, you have to kill at least one playgun next to this cleaning unit. When you have killed the lead playgun next to the canister, the canister will fill up with playgun gas allowing you to pick it up. Now take the canister over to the crossside area and place it onto this crate. When you have done so, the canister will be placed directly on the crate which you then have to shoot the canister and then from here you can grab your DIE Wonder Weapon and then swap it over to the DIE Nova 5. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into how to get into the glitch properly. Quick disclaimer for this glitch to work properly, do not open this door heading to the medbay area. Instead, take the path to your right and from there continue your game. For the glitch, come to the med bay area and keep a zombie left in the round. Now, depending on your view of this glitch, it can be a little bit tricky for some, but the way I get into this glitch most often is that I bring the zombie over to this area right now. I then jump down from the slightly elevated area and then I jump onto this iron lung. From here, you need to slowly move off the iron lung and have your crosshair aligned with mine. The perfect area is to have your crosshair placed directly on the metal with the nails on it. Another tip is to take it easy. Sometimes I go a little bit too fast and this is what makes me stuff up the glitch. So take it easy and eventually you will get into the glitch perfectly. When you are in the right position, the zombie will then pile up just in front of you like the zombie in the clip does here. From here, you can kill the zombie and go through the rounds. However, the perks I would recommend for this bot are Juggernaut, Crook of Vive and Speed Caller. The reasoning for getting Jug and Crook of Vive is to stay safe in the glitch. However, the reasoning to get Speed Caller is that if you have Speed Caller, you will be able to fill up your field upgrade faster than if you weren't to have speed collar, so definitely have speed collar to get your field upgrade more often. With these perks, the strategy is quite simple. Simply have your DIE ready for use and then shoot it and then suck it up. The reasoning for this is that if there are more than two zombies, they may start to hit you. But the thing is, for the time it takes for these zombies to climb up onto the iron lung, you will have enough time to shoot your DIE level 5 down. This combined with you sucking up these zombies will A give you a bunch of ammo and B secure this spot and make it an absolute XP grinder. Some downsides to this spot that I must speak about are that playguns can hit you, however the megatons will be stuck in the barrier in front of you. So as long as you do not pick up nuclears as nuclears can damage the megaton, you will be fine. The reason why before I said to pick up the Ring of Fire field upgrades is because eventually the damage drop off will become very low so as long as you keep on using your Ring of Fire you will decimate these zombies. So for rounds 30 or above simply have your Ring of Fire ready, use it, suck up all these zombies you can, get some ammo and then when it ends kill the zombies, get the Ring of Fire and rinse and repeat. This strat can be used upwards to round 100 so definitely use this strat and you will get a bunch of XP I promise. 
To conclude today's video, I just want to go through the Ring of Fire because I think it is very important that you guys are using the Ring of Fire to the best of its ability. The way to use the Ring of Fire to the best of its ability is that every time your Ring of Fire is full, use it. Use the most of it, like absolutely go berserk. And then after that, wait a bit, get the kills that you need, get the Ring of Fire, rinse and repeat, and just as long as you keep on doing it as soon as you get the Ring of Fire, you should be fine and there should be no problem. Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed this little video about how to get into this insane glitch, then please do consider smashing your like Button, it is very appreciated. Also, this video was very much inspired by Gray's video about this glitch. So definitely go check him out. His link's in the description. He's an absolutely amazing guy. Check him out and yeah, drop him a sub for me. Anyways, with that all said and done, till next time, goodbye.